welcome back to the channel. We are here at Universal Studios Island of Adventure. We got the early admission with our uh, resort stay. So that was a huge savings. Way to go, Perks. Yeah. So we are running in. We're going straight to Hagrid's motorbike, whatever. I did not research any of this. My husband did all of it. So sorry if I mess up the names. Anyway, we are on our way. We got right off the boat at 8 o'clock and probably in the gates at about 8.15. So not too bad of a wait and we are hustling. The theming back here is absolutely incredible. You will not be disappointed in Hogsmeade. The entire queue of the ride, oh my gosh, the detail is incredible. Outside, inside, the pre-shows, all of it. It's amazing. Okay, so we just got off. Oh my gosh, so everyone loved it, right? I love it. <laughs> also, it said 75 minutes and that was probably 60. So that was a nice surprise, but you're walking the entire time. So it does not feel like you're just standing. The, the pre-show stuff is so cool. Just all around the theming was fantastic. The ride was awesome. So that's how we wanted to kick off our day. And I'll just show you around some of the other adventures and also like some really good tips and things we've been noticing even in the first hour. The first one is get water from all those water stations. Did you try it first? I had. Can you try it first, but. No, I want to mix it in. Should I mix it in? And then mix it. Okay, what do you think? You have the frozen one. Maybe not a Try a drink. That tastes okay. amazing. Oh, it does? Oh my god. Good? That's really good. You do mix it more, but it's so good. What do you think, sis? Mm, that's good. Really good? So, mixing the cream is the way to go. It's like cream root beer. Okay, so we're in line for Ollivander's show, which is not the same as buying your wand. Just make sure you know that. But I want to give you a really quick tip as well. First, Harry Potter Forbidden Journey. Um, they do give the warnings about like motion sickness. I will just say it's not like awful because it's a little bit of like screen motion, right? Where you're like sitting still, but they're just moving you. But don't go on a full stomach. We chugged our drinks and they chugged their butter beers right before we went in. So like you can tell that's when you're not, just wait. You don't go. Tell them about the incident? Don't go on a full, yes. Don't go on a full stomach, but also there was an incident. We, the ride got stuck. We were stuck for probably five to eight minutes. We got it on camera. So. Yeah, we got it on camera. I can just put a little whatever. But Abby Lynn and I, we were like upside down on our backs. Thankfully, it was just on our backs. Anyway, flight of the hippogriff. It's not worth the wait. It's a little, it's like a little, little kid ride. I didn't realize it was so short. It was seriously like maybe 30 seconds. So we had the front of the line pass. That's fine. We liked it. Did you like flight of the hippogriffs? Yeah, it's just really short. Way shorter than I thought it was going to be. Which is your wand on, left or right? We did the three main rides on the Hogwarts Hogmeads area. Um, then we came here to the Seuss Land to get some lunch. I'll show you that here on the side. And it was so-so. I would say pass on the green eggs and ham, but yes, get the pizza tots. Now that we've gotten a slushie to cool down, we're headed over to the other side of the park um, to see what else is over there. So there's my third tip for you. Pass on the green eggs and ham. They were kind of mess. This area of the park is really cool. I would say that what they lack in rides, they make up for in shops and experiences and shopping and restaurants. Like there's just so much over here, even if it's not all rides. Plus, they also had these water features on that you'll see in a second. It was very nice, especially with it being a very, very hot day. We spent some time eating, going through stores, walking around, and now we're just so hot, it's time for some water. I ran through one of those kid fountains just to like cool off a little, but uh, look at this. You will get soaking wet. So we're going on the Popeye's Paradise Cruise. It's like super needed right now because it is so dang hot. Okay, we just got off of Popeyes. Um, soaking from top to bottom. Yeah. All the way, all the way, front, back, top to bottom, fully soaked through. You will get fully soaking wet multiple times, not just once. There are dryers, $7, and it's tap and pay. And it's just outside of the exit. It's about a five minute dry, maybe. Yeah. Uh, it we doesn't did it, entirely get you dry. It doesn't entirely get you dry, but we did it to help with um, people's 
bottom so that we wouldn't chafe because that's a really big bummer. So we're gonna go to um, the next ride. This whole ride um, and then stuff you can carry on. So we've gone like the fanny pack route and we do have one bag of stuff back here we're carrying, but the locker system, oh my gosh. So here's my next tip. If you're wanting to get a locker, whether here at like this area or at the Harry Potter area, 100% you need cash on hand or you need a card on hand. You cannot use tap and pay, you cannot use universal pay. So if you wanna get a locker, you have to, have to, have to 100% have cash on hand or a card on hand. We didn't bring either because we set up universal pay on our phones, so now we're kind of like, ugh. We haven't been able to get lockers all day long, so that's been a thing. Anyway, we're off to the next ride up here in front of me. I will put the name in front of it. It's kind of like a little splash mountain. Was Ripsaw Falls? It was good. Towards the end, I started to get a little scared. Um, the beginning of the ride, there were some difficulties or something. I don't remember. But the ride was good, and yeah. we are what? We are soaking, soaking wet again. Fully soaking wet. Look at this. Totally wet. I am very wet. Definitely a cool ride and it's right here at Dudley's Ripsaw Falls. You will get soaking wet again. They said Hook was so-so but Velociraptor was awesome. So there's that from them. If I go on it I'll probably just do it tomorrow or the next day. I'm not too worried about it. We have many days here so we're happy you know switching off kids and parents. So now we're off to Kong. Okay so we just finished the Kong ride and this one was the only one that didn't like it. Too loud, too it. scary, but he loved it. Um, it's one of those like 4D rides, so something you're actually moving a lot, almost like um, Star Tours. You're, you're not physically moving, but like your thing is moving, if that makes sense. Anyway, so pretty cool and the effects were awesome. It was loud, I, I get that, and that just was not her thing, but they loved it. Anyway, so we actually have finished at the park this one closes in an hour, but Universal closes in two hours. So we're gonna take the Hogwarts Express over, spend a little time there, see what we think, and then do dinner and swimming. All right, so of all the rides today, we actually finished with the um, Minions one, and we all got a little vertigo, which is funny, or weird. So we're fine though. So we were at the MBC Grill and Brew having a quick dinner. It is downpouring, so the pool might not happen. And that is it from us here, our very first day at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, kind of the whole bits of both. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Say bye.